All right, so make yourself comfortable. And uh, yeah, close your eyes or gradually softening the gaze and taking maybe seven slow, deep aware breaths. Using this as a way to unwind, relax, letting go of the day. Now, using this as an anchor, allow focusing on the breathing, the movement of the air. In Buddhism, this is called concentration. Because the Buddhist knew that we can't do any deep work if we are scattered. You know? So it's some concentration first before we explore non-duality or deep stuff. So concentrating on the body breathing, allowing thoughts but not going in daydreaming. And if you do return to the breathing, just here and now. Although we are not in the same room, you can sense all of us here being interested in this presence and going inside, feeling the support of not being alone with this kind of stuff. And we can relax a little bit this concentration, like not focusing on the breathing so intently and opening ourselves to sounds. There's hearing happening. Whatever, my voice sounds in your room, the traffic, the wind. Uh, whenever you catch yourself, you've been hijacked, taken. You can unhook. Just being present to the present. Relaxing the jaw. Relaxing the eyelids, the face. Giving the weight of the body onto the chair. The weight of the hands onto the lap. Letting go of doing, planning, Rehashing. And allowing now attention to be diffuse, globally present to the totality of the now, including the body. 
body meaning sensations, energies, tensions, feelings. Noticing and allowing them fully without agenda. And welcoming the totality of the flow of data. This triple welcoming of the mind, the body, and the world. Globally present to the body-mind world. This is kind of conceptual in our experience. It's hearing, arising, seeing, sensing, images, voices, bubbling in and out to this aware presence. And see if you can welcome with some kind of equanimity, indifference, even if it's unpleasant, if something in the body is unpleasant. Then we welcome it fully without focusing into it. So now we can shift gears So being still loosely aware of what's arising, being interested in the sense of being, the sense of being aware that is happening by itself, the sense of I am. This is also a little conceptual. I am, but it refers to the, the fact of being uh, aware, perceiving. We can't localize it, pinpoint it. You can try and find it, this awareing presence. And it's good to try until you see we can't find it. Although sometimes we have a sense of, oh yeah, there's this this energy in my chest, or there's this green I see in my mind's eye. That is not awareness. That is again some phenomena. And we are interested in that which is aware of the green color or the loving feeling. It helps more rather than to focus into 
something to actually defocus. More like noticing the, you know, it's almost like the cinema, instead of focusing on the scene, on the actor, you're defocusing and noticing the, the screen. Or in your room, where you are, there are objects, there is the space in which the objects appear. See this awareing presence more like a conscious, borderless, invisible space, which hears these words. neck sensation or the jaw sensation or the belly sensation they appear in this aware field this aware field produces all of this stuff It observes them, then they, they fall back onto it. New stuff. So notice that thoughts are not continuous. There's this interval between them. Once the thought fades away, notice just this, just being here before the next thought comes. So checking our experience, you know, rather than believing anybody, any great sage or anybody checking our experience now. What is aware? What is key? What is sensing? And be satisfied with a label. Just there. Also. Am I this tension somewhere? Am I this sound? Am I this image? Or am I that? Whatever it is, which is aware, yet unaffected, ultimately. Yeah, if, if the mind goes, if your mind is going, some of us mind is monkey mind, come back to 
hearing, sensing, knowing. Yeah, and tuning again into the inner, you know, within this where field, is this body, the energies is, the body is the aftermath of all of our programming and our beliefs and how we interpret life and the world plays out in the body. Checking once again what's there and really Try to welcome it completely, even if it's unpleasant. With, with tensions or things that are unpleasant, meditation you know there's a tendency to our attention goes there it's like with some uh, i don't like it i don't like this and so attention goes there like similar to when you have something in your mouth you know you bit your lip or something in the mouth a tongue keeps going there you know to check it so the same attention goes to the unpleasantness and and there's this subconscious agenda to, to make it go away or to, or just to check it. And this checking it actually maintains it to some degree. So try to, to notice, welcome, allow, but not focus into the tension if there is a tension. More like a, we can still notice without focusing into it. Noticing the space in which those tensions appear. And kind of surrendering or offering, giving the tension, the feelings, the thoughts, giving them to the to that in which they arise. Trusting this presence to take care of this content. If you sense some kind of spiritual effort or this kind of detailed effort to reach something, to obtain a better state. Notice that there's some tension somewhere and see if you can let go of this spiritual effort, allowing ourselves to just be. Being is effortless. For the last couple of minutes, do nothing. Do nothing. 